talked about some of the early days and all the momentum in the partnership that Boeing has with India, and Turbo talked about how we've taken that further with Boeing Defense India and the commitment that the company is making to India, both as a customer and as a market in terms of the partnerships that we have with industry as well. So looking into the future and, and being able to continue to build on that success, we see one important opportunity to do that with the F-18 Super Hornet. Uh, so today, because our time is limited, I'll, I'll spend most of the time focused around the Indian Navy campaign that we're competing in. And what I'd like to share is some exciting developments that have taken place in the US. And I'd also like to talk a little bit about kind of bigger picture why, at least for us, we see this as being a very important acquisition decision, but also something that's much larger than that. So first on the exciting developments in the US. So the US Navy has made a decision to invest in an evolutionary capability, the stepping stone of the Super Hornet. So it's encapsulated in what we call block three. That includes some major capability enhancements and includes a new airframe life that goes from 6,000 hours to 10,000 hours, so very significant in terms of the life of the airframe that that will bring. It brings a new advanced cockpit system, so that's a large area display that's in the cockpit. It's Think of it as an iPad in the cockpit where pilots are able to manipulate the data, customize it to their choosing, much in the way that we're all familiar with based on using iPads in our own homes and in our own lives. It comes with a new computer and a new data link, and that allows the F-18 to be networked with the other assets in the force, something that is becoming increasingly important for air forces and, and navies around the world as they face threats um, in, in regions such as the one that, that India finds itself in. It also has a reduced RCS, so there's increased stealthiness that comes with the, the airplane as well. So all of these encapsulate what we, what we call Block 3. And the Navy, as I mentioned, moving forward with that, we signed a multi-year contract earlier this year for 78 aircraft. That brings the total program of record to 106. So this is a very significant investment that the US Navy is making in this capability. And that in conjunction with what we'll do with the existing Super Hornets, where we'll take those from what we call block two, the earlier iteration into this block three configuration, we will be delivering this capability with the US Navy well into the 2030s. So this is very exciting for us as a company because it points to the longevity of the capability that we'll be able to bring. And it also speaks to the ability to provide this capability to international customers for us like India. So that's something that's been very important in terms of the development that's happened in the US that, and that's what we'll be bringing forward as the offering to India. But as I mentioned, as, as much as this is about, in terms of the Indian Navy competition, as much as this is about a decision about aircraft, it's also more than that. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is that, as you all know better than I, these aircraft will be operated from Indian Navy carriers. And so it's, it's a choice about aircraft, but it's also a choice about naval aviation. Yes. When you speak about Indian carrier, which carrier you are talking about? So what the Indian Navy has said is that the the, the RFI and the interest that they've had in in, in aircraft is for the. Talking about IAC one or IAC two. What Indian Navy? I mean, I don't want to speak on behalf of what the Indian no, Navy no, plans, true. but what they've said publicly is for INS Vikramaditya oh, and okay. potentially for IAC one as well. All right. Um, so certainly that is an important decision that the Indian Navy and the Indian government needs to make. But it's not just about the aircraft, it's about the entire naval aviation system. Mm -hmm. And the way we think about it is that a choice for the Super Hornet unlocks this incredible naval aviation system that's been refined by the US Navy for decades. And the scale that the US Navy has with, with you know 10x carriers times the, the next largest nation in terms of number of carriers out there and the fleet size. So just the experience that the Navy has, the investment that they've made, those are all things that, that India, as an example, could buy into, could choose as a result of aircraft selection. So for us, again, very important that this is about airplane capability, but also thinking about the complexity of naval aviation and the ability for the airplane to be able to land, to be able to operate on the carrier, the symphony that really has to occur in all of that. That's why for us, this is a, this we think is a very compelling option for the Indian Navy and we're very proud to offer it.